there's a great commandment to love God with all your body, mind, and soul. And I mean, you know, that doesn't leave anything in there except totality. And then here was the real hook to love your neighbor as yourself. So who do you love first, your neighbor? No. You love yourself first. And when you're really loving, now does that sound selfish? It's not what we call spoiled. I call it selfing. When we do truly start loving ourselves, and we've got the energy of God flowing down through us, and that is that love present, you reach over to your neighbor and you touch them, and they'll transform right in front of you because you love them. Have you ever seen this happen to people when they fall in love and you say, my God, they're, look, they're in love. They're beautiful. Their faces lit up. They're radiant. Why? Everybody loves a lover. Why? Because we see the loving in them and we recognize it because it is in us. And it's quite true. If I said to you, I love you, that's really a, a, a statement of error. It's really when I see you, that place inside of me that is loving comes more awake and dynamic inside of me because I am having the greatest relationship with you inside of me. And I want you around to keep reminding me about that place that is loving, least I forget. And so we join in partnerships. It could be business, it could be uh, marriage, it could be a lot of things. Just so that we keep remembering that we are a loving being first and foremost, and that we're creators. And if we're creating loving and we have to harvest at the end what we've created, Guess what we get to do? We get to send on the pillar of loving straight into the heart of God.